Hey guys, just a friendly reminder, make sure to join our Discord for fast support, and also subscribe. If this video can get 10 likes, I'll upload tomorrow. What is up guys, my name is Zua from Jeva. Today I'm going to be showing you, uh, we're, we're going to go more into uh, natives, uh, we're going to do gun attachments, uh, we're going to spawn cars, we're going to do more Lua stuff, so uh, let's get right into it. I'm already in my server here. Um, uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, so I met my, uh, that's the wrong folder, our server folder that we've been working on, I'm gonna go back, we're gonna, we're just gonna be adding on to the guns resource that we created in episode 2, so let's go to gunsc.lua, let's open that up, we're also gonna need our functions.lua, cause we're gonna be adding some, some more things in there, so I'm gonna click this little right, or this little button, and it's gonna put it to the right, so, alright. Let's let's start here. So, I mean, what 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 we're really doing now is, uh, but we're gonna spawn. Let's let's we're gonna spawn a car. All right. So, there's a function that uh, that you can use to do this. So, let me declare the function spawn spawn car, and then it's gonna have an argument of the car name. I'm just gonna keep it car, and uh, a variable local. Um, car is equal to um, get hash key car and then request this is another native re request request model car and then if it's not loaded or while, while it's not loaded um, it has model Loaded car to nope do request model car and then avoid it from crashing. So you had a little wait here. So this is that wait zero and end that while statement. And then uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be doing the um, the table the table stuff through this because you need to get your coordinates of your person so the car can actually spawn near your person so let's do local x comma y comma z is equal to table dot unpack also this code is on github i'll put the link in the description sorry i forgot to say that so we're gonna get the entity Ourselves or the coordinates of ourselves, and then put a false after there. And then uh, we gotta get the vehicle, so local vehicle. It's gonna create the vehicle here next to our person. Create vehicle. I cannot type, man. And then we're gonna use the car that we requested because we it's defined here, but then even though it's passed through, it it already redefines itself to the request model so car and then we're gonna do X so we're gonna make it forward I think no no we're gonna make it sideways spawn uh, one or actually let's just do three then Y plus three I cannot do it all right three and Z and then we're just gonna have it one above so it doesn't go to space zero zero here don't know why a lot of these um, parameters I really have no idea what they're for it's just GTA you know and then that's kind of that's kind of it oh you need to you also need to create or you need to set this vehicle as a entity mission or mission entity whatever it is um, it's like set entity entity as mission Entity. and then uh, use the vehicle variable that we just did true and then another true there so oh yeah we, and we, all, we also gotta end it um, this this will actually make it spawn without it breaking um, if you do it without it yeah you're, you're gonna have bad results I'm pretty sure so uh, let's let's also um, 
actually, you know, let's just make the car command here. So I'm actually going to create a table just so we can get some table practice. Because if you have no idea what's going on here, I'll show you why. So we're going to do, we're going to create a, we're going to create an array, I think it's called, uh, from JavaScript. So that's what, well, this would be an object, but the way that's like it, it's like an array from, yeah, I don't know, I'll stop talking. Comments. So what I'm writing here is car names uh, in GTA 5, that little thing that I showed you. The second tab, this, yeah, my computer's really slow. Um, just a bunch of car names. I, you can find them on Google somewhere, but uh, this, this is what I'm using. So comment. Um, cheetah. Oops. And we're going to have the last one as a baggie. I think that's a little bike. I forgot. I just remember it for some reason. So I'm going to make a new command. Call it register. Or I'm going to call it car. So it's going to randomly pick from this array here uh, make it do a function and uh, end and then in here we're going to um, we're going to make a new variable called car which is equal to put this around parentheses just to make it more precise so we're going to use the cars array and then in here we're going to do math dot random and uh, use the table cars and that should be, it should select randomly from any of these four. So then uh, what we're going to want to do is now call the function spawn car, spawn car, uh, car, which is that variable that we declined or de defined. It's going to randomly pick from there. And then we're also going to notify saying um, we're going to make this purple. Sorry about that. Spawned. Uh, car and then um, H is this H thing right here that means it's bold and I'm also gonna make it green so bold and green I'm gonna say car so it's basically saying the car I wanted to output the car that it actually spawns out so we can just uh, can, or join the strings so we can just type in car and it should do that that should work so now what we're gonna want to do I'm going to um, I want to show how weapon attachments work I should probably should have done that last episode and uh, let's write the function here in our functions dot so let's define the function function uh, weapon attach I really hope I no I did not yes there we go okay actually let's call it weapon component because that's what I called it making this component, component. alright and then we, we need two parameters for this uh, to refer off the gun that you're adding it to and the component that you're going to add to the gun you'll see what I'm talking about so then let's add a weapon hash and a component you can essentially call these whatever you want but you have to pass it in through the function or through the content that we're gonna write for this component that and also let's we're gonna make a conditional and you can see how conditions work so if it's going we're gonna say like if the pet or the person has um, the gun then it's going to put that but if it doesn't then it just won't do anything instead of it uh, outputting errors or possibly crashing so if has had got weapon and you could do get player head, oops, head, and then minus one, which is referring to just the player. It's client sided. Get hash key. And we have to use the weapon hash and false. And we say, um, we gotta say then. Then it's going to do this. So give weapon. Component, which is a native, and, and then uh, our player. So get player head minus one. Oops, and then um, also uh, get hash key weapon hash, and then um, I, that that should be it. And then what we're gonna want to do in our 
loop in this in this function, we're going to um, we're going to create the uh, or we're, we're just going to add it into here. So let's give. Oh wait, I, don't, I actually forgot something. There's another parameter in here. My bad. Get hash key. There's another one. I completely forgot that there's a little component thing here. Then you have to do component because that's passed in there. Uh, that should work hopefully. I don't really know. Um, might have misspelled something. I tend to do that a lot. Okay, so give weapon. Let's give ourselves a weapon underscore pump shotgun. This is I'm doing this because I already know the the attachment that I want. You could find it on this website that I'll put in the link in the description. You'd you'd want to copy this as one of the parameters. So when we use the uh, weapon. Um, component um, function. I like to just put an indent just to show what it's under. And you have to refer to the gun that you're going to do. So weapon underscore pump shotgun. And then uh, another parameter here. And say the the one that you want. So let's go into the pump shotgun. I actually forgot what I was going to type in for pump. Uh, pump. There we go right here. You can add a suppressor. Let's add a little suppressor there. You'll see it. Um, and I'm also just going to add a little uh, flashlight on it. Because why not? You literally just copy this. And paste it in there. That should work. And uh, while we're doing that, uh, let's create a slash die command. Just so if we don't like the spawn or where we spawn from, um, we could just... You know, respawn somewhere else. So, we want to register command die function, and hopefully, you understand the gist of this. So, to actually die, we'd have to set the person's health to zero. So, to do that, we have to do set entity. I spelled that wrong. Entity health. It's really simple. And then, uh, I like to use player pet. I, I'm going to show you that player head ID is essentially essentially the same thing as get player pet but i like to use this outside of loops just uh because of reliability and uh, whatnot so we're gonna set that as zero because that's how much health we want i think it's up to uh 200 is how much health you have so zero means you died and i'm also just gonna notify um and say uh, in red you Okay, so that should be basically it for um, that. Let's let's actually run it in our little uh, thing here. So I'm gonna go here and type in. Uh, I already have my server started up, and I'm in the live server. Um, so I'm gonna type in restart. Okay, what was that? Restart guns. Alrighty, so before we actually go onto the server, made a little mistake. You know, I make a lot of mistakes, so, um, yeah, so the first one is, um, give weapon component to head, and this is also capital. Then I forgot the end for this function, I thought it was for this, but you need an end for an if statement, so I'm just gonna put that end in too, so that should work. Let's restart the thing, restart guns, it's really buggy, but it still does that. We start guns, then we should click H, it gave the gun, we have a flashlight on it, E turns that on, um, what else do we have, oh, yeah, we have slash car, which is going to, sp uh, yeah, that's, that's random, okay, okay, another one, there we go, see, we got another car, it's random, um, this is a little slow, uh, we can die, too, you know, it says you died, what else, what else do we have here? Um, um, I guess that's kind of it. We, could, we have all, uh, we can get it back. And then do slash clear, just like the last episode. And yeah, that's basically it. If you guys enjoyed the video, please uh, like and subscribe. Sorry about the mistakes again. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, join our Discord if you want fast support. Um, make sure to join our Discord. Yeah. Uh, subscribe, follow us on Twitter at JevaJS, uh, our GitHub, I'll put this code in the description. Uh, yeah, so have a good one.